Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sahar Nadi, welcoming you to my chat space. That's what the name Maklama means in Arabic. I started this series because the state of the world today puzzles me. Despite being the most technologically connected and the most affluent we've all been in a long time, we're also the most lonely and the least happy generation, according to numerous research. I believe that each culture has a piece of the happiness puzzle. So in this audio series, I explore a new concept of wellness and happiness from a different culture in a few minutes. Everyone talks about trying to find and capture happiness. But what about those who already have too much of it, that they stop noticing it? The Chinese have a name for that, Xin Mi Pi La. It literally means aesthetically tired, having too much of a good thing that you stop seeing it and appreciating it, like eating too much chocolate to the extent of craving pickles. Perhaps this is one reason why we suffer from dissatisfaction and unhappiness. I noticed this state repeatedly while visiting affluent countries. Many people I met would only realize how well they are living when conditions in other parts of the world are mentioned. And so I started a simple fun game whenever I'm in a gathering. I ask everyone present to list one thing that made them happy during the past week. There are always those who immediately answer nothing. But there are many more who start remembering simple, joyful things, like nice compliments from a boss, a fun gift from a friend, a smile from a child on the street, a happy pet welcoming you home, or even some new flowers in the garden. The difference between the two groups is probably not their quality of life. It's mostly their ability to notice the small, simple, joyful things in life. Their ability not to fall into the trap of being Shin Mi Pila, being aesthetically tired. Try it now. Think of three things that made you smile last week. Write them down if you want to. Are you smiling already? Good. That's how simple and accessible happiness is. See you next time in my McLaren.